Holy greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am uh, Dr. Harry J. Johnson. I serve as the district superintendent of the founder district, the Jacksonville district. Uh, I am honored uh, for the years to pass that I have been, uh, had a zeal to gather information and photographs, memorabilia of our leaders, and uh, not knowing that it would be a, uh, in the future an opportunity to share that with the family and to all of the new people who've come into this family who know very little about our history. We have a unique and a very special history that have been given to us by God through revelation, through the leaders and the founders of our church family. And I speak in particular about our leaders, our founder of the Church of God by Faith, in the person of the elder John uh, Bright, the founder, to our first bishop, uh, Bishop Aaron Matthews Sr., to our first national executive secretary, uh, Elder uh, Hubert Stedman, and the first national evangelist, uh, Elder Nathaniel Scipio. They are considered as the first founding leaders of the Church of God by faith. In particular speaking to uh, the life of John Bright, John Bright was a unique man. He was a preacher. Uh, he also uh, was a master of brick layer and block layer. He taught not only the word to the community where he served uh, in Jacksonville Heights area where I grew up, but he also loaned his gift to my grandfather and he loaned the gift to his sons and uh, we were able to live and make a living by the gift that John Bright shared. Uh, not very much longer after Elder Bright was saved uh, under uh, Fox Thompson, I believe, uh, he began to preach and to rent out homes, buildings that he might be able to preach revivals. And under his leadership came on Bishop Aaron Matthews and following that, uh, Elder Hubert Stedman, Elder Scipio. Those men played a very significant part in the beginning of this church. And it is related in history when we did not have a name for the church, that they went into seclusion and stayed there for about a week. They didn't eat, they didn't go home, they stayed and prayed and asked God to give them a name. And by revelation, God gave them the name of the Church of God by faith. I'd like to add something else to the noteworthy part of this family. They were known for a fellowship. They were not so much caught up with being called a church per se. They loved being together. They, they were, uh, at one time in the history of this church, uh, they had church every night. Uh, they, 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 they cherished being together and whatever it took, whatever means was necessary, they would always covet working and working and being together in their efforts. They pooled their money, their finances, their time, their energy, so that they could portray the picture to the members that we, God has birthed something very special here. Uh, again, if you ask the question about how did this come to pass, they believed firmly in their spirit and those that came along after them that the church of God was or to enter into the body of Christ was truly by faith and nothing else. And so they believed that and preached that for many, many years. El Escipio, uh, in his day and the ministry that he served in was a very unique person, a great man of vision and a man of discernment uh, for the years that he served. Uh, Elder uh, Hubert Stedman, the first national executive secretary uh, served as the author of our early literature in this church. The unique thing about Elder Stedman was that he was the youngest of the group and uh, in the churches his gift of evangelism and revivals he preached revivals year round and he and his wife lived under the tent for many years uh, was a unique thing about him. Not only that, but Bishop Aaron Matthews, uh, 
understand that he's uh, coming to true faith and being saved under John Bright's, Ellen Bright's ministry, uh, begin to preach and assist and to help organize the Church of God by faith. We have something to celebrate. 100 years of service, 100 years of men of integrity and a great foundation and not only a great foundation, a great heritage, but a great future. And so we say thank God for the leaders, for the ministry, for the vision, and for the doctrine and the leadership of the Church of God by faith.